Hey, Alain Gonzalez here for WeightGainNetwork.com and in this video, I'm gonna share my 1,000 calorie homemade weight gain shake. Okay, when I first started training, uh, I was in my early 20s, I was 107 pounds. Just to give you some context, that's probably the size of a high school girl. Okay, and this shake was one of the staples in my diet when I finally was able to transform my physique. Okay, now let's talk about why you want to consume these homemade weight gain shakes. It's very simple. In the research, we know, or from the research rather, we know that semi-solid foods produce a weaker appetitive response than solid foods. And although the majority of your calories should come from solid whole foods, these are going to be great to get a lot of calories, also micronutrients, and still be hungry a few hours later so that you can consume the rest of your calories for the day. All right, so without further ado, let's jump right in. All right, so first let's talk about what you're going to need in order to make this shake or a variation of it. Okay, you're gonna need your foundation. In my case, I'm gonna use almond milk, but for you, if you can stomach it, whole milk is probably going to be a bit better because it's gonna give you more calories. Whey protein. The reason I use whey protein is just because it's a quick way to help me reach my protein goals for the day. Peanut butter. I would recommend um, a creamy version. Uh, although you're gonna blend it, the creamy one is probably going to be easier to blend than the crunchy. Chocolate syrup for some more uh, fast digesting carbs. A banana. I typically keep all of my fruit frozen just to make these shakes uh, throughout the week. Some Greek yogurt. This is gonna be great for increasing uh, protein intake, carb intake, with no fat. And then lastly, some oats. We're gonna throw those right in there, blend them right up, and get some nice uh, carbs and some fiber from this 1,000 calorie shake. So without further ado, let's jump right into actually making this thing. So the first thing you wanna do, um, and this is something that I had to learn the hard way, is you wanna always start off with your base, right? So your milk, water, almond milk, whatever you're gonna use, because what happens is, if you don't start off with the base, you're gonna get a little messy at the bottom of the blender. Now, next, we are going to put in our protein powder. In your case, if you are struggling to hit your protein needs for the day, uh, you probably wanna do two scoops, all right? I'm gonna do one. I don't really have trouble hitting my protein intake for the day. In fact, I could probably go without it, but just for the sake of this video, we're gonna add one. Then we're gonna add one cup of oats, okay? Make sure not to make the mistake that I did before. I got steel cut oats. Those don't blend as well. Old fashioned is the way to go. We'll pour those right in there. The next thing we're gonna do is add a banana. So I keep mine frozen, as I mentioned before. I like to keep most of my fruit uh, frozen just so that I can make these shakes, but it doesn't have to be. Go ahead and add some Greek yogurt. We want to go about five ounces, okay? So we're just going to toss that in there. For the peanut butter, here's a quick hack, okay? Because the, the peanut butter tends to stick to the spoon a lot and that can create a mess, all right? What I want you to do is just wet the spoon a bit you wet the spoon a bit, you're gonna see that the peanut butter comes right off, okay? What you're gonna do with the peanut butter is weigh out two tablespoons. And then lastly, we're gonna to top it off with one serving, which is two tablespoons of chocolate syrup. This is a great way to get more carbs and to also make it taste better, right? If you don't like chocolate, don't use this. Maybe use honey, uh, something like that. Whatever you wanna use, just use something in order to get you those, those extra carbs that we're gonna need, okay? If you're a skinny guy like me and you find it hard to gain weight, uh, one of the hardest things is eating enough carbs, okay? So we're gonna put in our two tablespoons. And this actually looks and smells delicious. I actually can't wait to taste it. But now, once everything's in there, all we're gonna do is blend her right up. Now, for the fun part. Just make sure with these that, that you give them a good blending, right? You don't want to be trying to chug chunks of oatmeal 
um, probably not going to make for a good experience. But there you have it, guys. This is my 1,000 calorie homemade weight gain shake. And be sure to make this a staple in your diet if you're having a hard time uh, consuming enough calories to gain weight and build muscle. Delicious every single time. All right, guys. I appreciate you guys watching the entire video. I hope you found this helpful. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more shakes or recipes like this one, click the like button below. Do not forget to subscribe if you want to see more videos that are helping you gain weight and build muscle. Lastly, if you are a skinny guy who struggles to gain weight and build muscle and you want my help, then go to weightgaintactics.com. And if you want to follow me on my YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash muscle monsters, you get more of these there as well. And I will talk to you soon.